with safe YouTube and potentially other third party websites coming and going and messing with teachers lesson plans I want to share with you another way that you can safely share the videos with your students and not have to worry about third-party websites in my Google Drive I just created a YouTube video folder and then within that folder I'm gonna insert a new um, Google slide I'm gonna get rid of this I'm gonna go to file page setup and I'm going to change the page setup custom. First, I need to change the inches to pixels. And then I'm going to change this to 1440 and this to 1080. And then I'm going to apply it. Okay, then I'm going to call this one Flipgrid because that's the one I'm going to create right now. And I'm going to go get the video I want. Here's the video that I want to share. And I'm just going to click share. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to go back to Flipgrid. Okay, and then I'm going to go to insert video. I'm going to paste it right in there. Have to click search. There it is. I'm going to click it and I'm going to hit select. And then it's going to pop up. I'm going to go ahead and resize it. I'm going to make sure I feel I don't want any white edges on it so it looks nice and clean. And then I go to file, publish to the web. And it's going to bring this up. I do want it as a link because I'm adding it to Google Classroom, but if you wanted to embed it into your website, you can do it that way. It's already clicked on link. I'm going to click publish. It's going to ask me if I'm sure. Yes, I am. I can change um, things here, by the way, um, if I want it to start on its own and if I also want to restart it um, after the last slide. But it's only one slide. I want the kids to press play, so I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to click OK. And there's a link. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to get out of here. Now, when I go to Google Classroom and I'm making an assignment or a material, I will just add that link that I just copied, paste it in where it says link when you're adding something in Google Classroom and it's good to go. Once you've published to the web, you don't have to keep republishing to the web. So if you look, I can go back to publish to the web and the link is still there. I can just copy it again if I need it. When the student clicks on this link from their Google Classroom, it is going to bring up the video just like this and then they can play it. Now, yes, they will have the ability to click on YouTube from this slide but the savvy kids that are going to go to youtube are going to go to youtube anyways what this does prevent is those pop-up ads at the end of your video or on the sides of your video just like those uh, safe youtube and other third-party sites do so using this method is more secure youtube is a google site so this is a google site so they work well together um, i can't imagine that there's going to be any reason why this won't continue to work while those third-party sites are getting shut down or temporarily blocked or whatever is happening with them another thing that's really nice about this if you have a lot to do you can just do the back arrow that's going to take you back into your slide you can do file make a copy and then this time I'm gonna call it Google Classroom. Maybe that's the one I'm gonna work on next. I can say okay. It's going to place this file also in my YouTube video file, and it's gonna keep the page format. So all I have to do on this one is delete the YouTube video and then insert the next video. So you can go through a lot of videos fairly quickly, transferring them to this kind of video. I hope this helps you guys. I know it's not the best fix for those of you who've already created all these safe YouTube links. Um, but I feel like this is a more permanent fix and hopefully it helps people.